mean, uh, as a fighter, we have to fight anyone. We have to fight the best with the best, and and, and we we want to we, we want. Um, I mean, for me, I want to give the fans the fight that they deserve, that they ask for. And I think as a fighter, we have to fight the best if we want to be a legend, make history, and continue to. To do it right, Morales and Barreras they yeah. gave us great fights. They're yeah. Mexicans, um, Chavez the versus De La Hoya, passing the, uh, of the torch. You know, um, do you think that by him not wanting to fight a fellow Mexican is taking away maybe from the sport or maybe opportunities for another Mexican? What do you think? I think it's opportunity for another Mexican, and I mean, maybe to see because I don't think he's afraid to fight anyone. It's all signed, sealed, and delivered. Zorro Ramirez will fight Dimitri Bivol November 5th for Bivol's WBA title. This fight will take place in the Middle East. Bivol is the favorite. Some people think he's going to win by a landslide, but Zorro has other thoughts. He says, November 5th, I will become the new light heavyweight WBA champion. I will beat Bivol. I will give him pressure all night. And, you know, Zoro is slow. His footwork is not as good as Bivol's. But what Zoro has is size. Zoro is a huge light heavyweight. 6'3. When he rehydrates after the weigh in, he's at least 200 pounds. And Zoro wants to win this fight because he wants to put himself in position to fight Canelo. Even though Canelo has said many a times he does not fight countrymen, he doesn't fight Mexicans. Zorro thinks that's a bunch of BS. He says, as a fighter, we're supposed to fight the best. Regardless of what the guy's race is, we're supposed to get in the ring and fight the best. He thinks when Canelo does that, he takes opportunity from other countrymen, Mexicans, when he doesn't fight them. He doesn't give them an opportunity to shine. He also said he doesn't think Canelo is afraid of anybody as more of a management move. Now, Zorro and Canelo are both countrymen. They support each other. Canelo is pulling for him to beat Bivol, even though Canelo says, if he wins, I will not fight him. And Canelo has Zorro's full support against Triple G. He said he wants him to win for the country of Mexico, and he thinks Canelo stops him in the later rounds. So basically what Canelo is telling us, if Zorro wins the WBA Light Heavyweight Championship, even though Bivol is favorite to retain that title, if Zorro wins, and this is boxing, anything can happen. If Zorro wins the title, that means Canelo's quest to be undisputed in two weight classes will be stopped until Zorro loses. The fight game is crazy. You got three guys trying to become undisputed in their second weight class. You got Bud Crawford, his obstacle is politics. You got Uzik. His obstacle is Fury in more ways than one. And then you have Canelo. He can get any fight he wants, so that's not an obstacle. But if Zoro Ramirez wins the belt, that would stop him in his tracks because he doesn't fight Mexican and countrymen. This race down the stretch is going to be very interesting. I wonder who cleans out their second division first. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.